Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm here to tell you about a new product I got from NOCO. So I've been so happy with my jump starter from NOCO that I picked up a tire inflator. And I'm gonna demonstrate this on my Armada here. We're gonna deflate one of the tires down to about 10 pounds. And then I'm also gonna show it to you on uh, a bicycle tire. So this is the deflator here, nice and compact. This is the uh, Air 15. So it comes with a cigarette lighter adapter. They also make uh, a smaller version of this and they make one that has uh, clamps that go right on a battery. So let's take a quick look here. You got good stowage for your, both your air hose and your quite long cord here. So I was able to plug into my cigarette lighter in the, in the dash and get to both tires on each side coming out the door. I also have an outlet in the back uh, hatchback that I was using for the, uh, the tire on my bicycle. So you've got a very long cord here and then you've got about a three foot hose as well. It has a light that has two uh, brightness levels and a flasher. On the bottom you have stowage for your uh, needle for like uh, sports balls and then a larger one for like inflating a raft. Uh, on the top, you have a power button. You can adjust up and down the pressure and you have the light button. And it's got nice rubber feet on it so it doesn't scratch anything if you set it down. And it comes with the carrying case. So here's what I wanna tell you about it real quick. Uh, it has a really good accuracy and a safety shut off. So on the tires that I'm about to show you that we pumped up. I'm gonna do that first because the auto shut off kicks on on there. I set the PSI for at least 10 pounds higher than what it ended up stopping at. So this uh, shut off when it got to 31 and I did both tires and it shut off at the same time. The other thing to note is there's a little label on the top here that tells you that it's gonna start shutting off towards the end just for uh, accuracy. On all of my tires it went up a half a, a percent higher and then I just let it sit there and it dropped it back down to the exact measurement. So pretty cool. So let's check out the bike tire and I'm going to do that relatively quickly and then we're going to do these tires in real time. I'll probably speed it up because it, it was under two minutes uh, to go from 10 to 34 but we'll show you that as well and just to uh, wrap it up before you see it in action very happy with it. Uh, very pleased with the NOCO products in general. As an Ohio guy, I like NOCO because they're based in Ohio also. So thanks a lot for watching. Check out these two uh, examples of it in action. Thanks. Let's go to 55. basically told us not to go anymore, right? So get me going to the Okay, so as we set this, I'm not sure if you can see that little red light, it says set. And then there's my PSI. Got a couple arrows here. I'm just gonna go up to 34. When I hook this up, the pressure amount on the gauge is actually going to change to the actual tire pressure, which I think I got down pretty low. So let's see what we got here. So we are down to 11.5 is the actual pressure right now. Let's hit power. Uh -huh. 